Hi guys, thanks for checking out this video. In this video, I'm gonna be going out to look for some bass using the laws. It's the drop in tide at the moment, so I'm just paddling out from uh, the rock harbor, um, just following the tide down until I can meet up with the uh, low tide mark and then just uh, fish around some of the heads using some of the laws I've got with me today. It's the first trip of the, uh, of the year out on the kayak for me and uh, it's absolutely flat calm today so conditions are ideal just to get the uh, just to get the cobwebs dusted off on the gear and the kayak and uh, hopefully manage to find a couple of fish in and around here. Fingers crossed. I need to watch out because I'm drifting into these into these heads here. So I might need to paddle in a minute. Nice bit of tide past them rocks there, they're the other side, but I might scout across there quickly and have a look. see the water going over the shallow ridge in front so I'm just going to put a top water and bring it back over it hoping anything that's swimming over it might take this top water law that I'm bringing back over up the tide but I've got to watch out because it's going to get really shallow in a minute Big spider crab there, do you see him? Look at that. Hoo -hoo. He's a beast. He was an absolute beast. We're just in the run of tide, just drifting around here. So I'm hoping the kayak maneuvers itself. So I can navigate through all this. But I've just got to watch out because there's that reef in front of me here. This is where all the bass are going to be in here. These bits. Come on. Just want to nudge myself off there a bit. A little bit sketchy doing this sometimes. Can't believe the size of that spider crab that was just sat there. Literally in about two foot of water just went, drifted over him. Got a nice little patch here. But the kayak's turned in the tide.
perfect chance now while I'm in this area here finding sink in this little gap here perhaps We're sat in a nice bit here because we're like in the slack part of it and it's rushing past either side on that side there. Maybe have one or two chucks in here. Looks pretty good. Just off to the side of that head there. Maybe one more cast. I'm gonna have to watch it because I've got that head just in front of me. This is risking it for a biscuit. Oh, that was close. Might actually go the other side of it. Navigate my way out of here now. Let's get out of here. So guys, it's uh, coming up to low tide now pretty much. Probably got another half hour or something uh, until the tide turns and literally nothing to report really. Um, apart from seeing a nice big uh, spider crab uh, just sat in the tide as I was going past um, a couple of reefs there in the tide. So yeah, it's, it's really quiet out here today. Um, I wasn't expecting too, too much anyway um, on the drop in tide. Any fish would have been a bonus. I'd like to think I can get sat on the flood. There's a couple of heads a little bit further out that way. I'm going to go and check out um, and just see. There looks like there's a little bit more tide there as well and a bit of white water crashing on on some of the uh, some of the reefs so I'm just gonna go and smash a law in and around that area um, hopefully pick that up um, just killing a little bit of time before that tide starts flooding back in it does look so good out here today um, I'm glad I've come out but there's a few uh, heads up here that look like they're worth checking out So guys, I'm going to paddle up to these uh, heads here, um, just off them. Um, it's quite shallow. I expect it to be quite shallow. It's seven, seven foot on my finder at the moment, and there's a see a little bit of tide here rushing through. So what I'm going to do is paddle right up to them, and then uh, obviously being wary of the rocks like that, just um, just drifting this tide here, finding 
a nice little bit of tide here and then uh, hopefully pick up a fish that's coming through. So I'm going to be using the uh, skerries for this. Tide's swinging me round now. In like this whirlpool. Just need to make sure the kayak settles. Hopefully I don't bang into that reef just in front of me there. Just get a paddle back a touch. There's a little bit of slack here. So I might be better the other side of this head. I'll probably do that. Getting on the other side of that head once I'm clear. Time for another chuck quick. Just bring that lure through. Oh, I think that was a reef. I think that was a reef. And just in there. Come on, bass. Got to watch all these heads that creep up. Might just try and sit in this slack bit just in front here. Try and poach anything that's coming through. Just notice there's not much movement here, but there's movement all around. So if I can get the kayak situated in and around here, a nice little bit of tide off to the, to the right there, straight out in front. But if I hook something, I've got to watch out because it's probably going to go around these heads. But sort of risk versus reward I guess. Try one straight down the middle. It's probably gonna end up around, almost round this reef by the time I bring it round. Hopefully if I hook sight it's this side of it. Do not want to snag up on that reef. So this is where you're likely to find find a bass if you are going to be looking to get one. It's going to be in a sort of spot like this. And you can see there's a little bit of tide. So guys, it's probably worth um, a quick mention. Uh, the uh, Exorus Astori 110 is what I'm using uh, at the moment, available from Mr. Fish. Um, these are probably one of my favorite um, top water laws to use when it's nice and flat calm like this. Um, and the method I use to retrieve this, um, everyone does things differently, but I find little circular um, motions with the rod tip um, tend to get the law uh, working as opposed to what you would with a pachinko or a frosty um, doing like a, a couple of taps on the rod tip to uh, walk the dog I find using this law um, slight circular motions on the rod tip with a, a, a constant steady retrieve um, and it tends to shuffle the law side to side if you do do the taps that you would with a pachinko or the uh, frosty um, them ranger laws I find it kind of darts under a little bit it's almost like the taps are a little bit too much for the law if you want it to dart under and that's that's your um, cup of tea then 
yeah crack on as you are with the with the little taps but if you're struggling to keep that lure on the surface just try circular motion with the uh, with the rod tip that tends to um, work for me so I've got a couple of heads just in front here and I'm thinking I'm gonna be lobbing the surface lot in and around them okay I keep my paddle to hand just in case I need to maneuver tides slackened right off now but there might be a few fish in the area it's probably asking quite a lot to get a topwater bass in February but you never know Conditions are so ideal today for top water laws as well. Oh, I don't know if that was a take then already. Might have just been the way the law came up. Looked like a really subtle take just behind the law. Well, a mistake. Ah, it could just be my eyesight. I like to think there's a fish around here. All these heads. Oh, there was a take. Oh. Is he on? No, he's dropped it. Is he back on it? Oh, he keeps going for it. Come on. There we go. Yes. Hey. Hey. If he's a big one. Oh, he's only little. Oh, yes. A new record of February set. Oh, no. He's off. <laughs> quick catch and release. A quick catch and release. What's happened there? Oh, we've got a wind knot in it. That should just pull out. There we go. Sometimes that happens when... You're not paying attention when you're doing the top water laws. Oh, so there is fish here. <laughs> Second chuck out. Let's just get back into position again. I don't know if that one can count actually as my uh, first top water fish of the year. And uh, <laughs> an early one. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, cheat and say that I actually released that at the side of the kayak. <laughs> oh. There might be two there because the initial take and the subtle take that I had following behind the law, that looked like a bigger fish. I'm kind of hoping that there's a bigger one there. I'll be a bit more switched on if I get a better fish, I think. I hope you guys got that top water take on the camera. Now started using the, the GoPro on my head. Oh, another take. Another little take there. There we go. That's it. Yes. Oh, that feels a bit better. Yeah, this feels a bit better. Not huge. Not huge. And it's not the same fish. <laughs> I haven't brought my net with me today because I thought it was just going to be fish like this. So I'm just going to bring him in. Oh, come on, mate. Where are you? There he is. He's not a bad one. Let's hit the bail arm on that. And he's lightly hooked in the lip, which is ideal. There we go. 
There we go. Record, <laughs> a record top water fish for me as early as February. So I've beaten my uh, March top water fish, so I'm happy with that. I reckon there's gonna be plenty of these around this size, maybe a little bit bigger if we're lucky uh, during this trip. So yeah, it's nice to see the first fish of the, uh, of the year come to the kayak. Right, off you go, mate. When you're ready, that is. You just bite my finger when you're ready to rock and roll. I'll send you on your way. There we go. Off you go, mate. Thank you very much. Well, guys, that's me heading back in now. Um, I'm going to have a couple of chucks, maybe. Um, as I get a little bit closer in, I've got a bit of a paddle to do now. And uh, it's going to be dark in probably about an hour. So I want to get everything on the... Uh, on the kayak back in the van um, before it gets dark. I just wanted to say thank you for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Until the next trip out, till the next uh, session out fishing, tight lines, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.